welcome to Reading on the Rock for Advent. Good evening, friends, and welcome to Reading on the Rock here at Covenant United Methodist Church. I'm Reverend Ann Kemper, and tonight we're going to continue to read books that make us think about light in different ways. And tonight's story is called A Spark in the Dark by Pam Fong. It's published by Green Willow Books, which is an imprint of Harper Collins Publishers. A Spark in the Dark by Pam Fong. In the dark, you might feel scared or lost or angry or lonely or sad. But even if the dark is a deep, vast ocean and you are a tiny little fish, don't worry. A spark of light is always there to guide you safely home. There is light and there is dark. Look, she's feeding the little fishes some bread. The light is warm and welcoming. In the light, it is easy to see what's ahead. But sometimes the dark creeps up and surrounds you. And before you know it, there is only dark. And look at him go. The dark can be cold, lonely, and scary. The dark can make you feel lost, angry, or sad. But even in the dark, 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 light can bloom. then just as quickly fade away. It might look strange. It may not be enough to chase away the dark. Sometimes it can even lead you in the wrong direction. Ooh, that's scary. But keep searching. Eventually, you will find a familiar spark to follow. And that spark will show you the way back. You need light to move through the dark, but sometimes you need the dark to see the light. The end. The little fish learned the dark can be cold, lonely, and scary. But if you follow a spark of light, it will show you the way back. And we often call Jesus our spark of light because he's always there no matter how dark it is, to show us the way back to light. Would you please pray with me? Thank you, God, for sparks of light that lead us out of dark places. And thank you especially for Jesus, the light of the world. Amen. Now come back next Monday and hear a story about the winter solstice. Good night. Reading on the Rock is presented by Covenant United Methodist Church in Rochester, New York. If you like Reading on the Rock, please give a donation on our website, covenantroc.org.